Hey, what's up guys? This is John John, and this is the Solo Samurai SSCC Challenge. Yeah, this is actually my first ever SSCC, so if I screw up pretty badly, I apologize for that, so bear with me. I'm going to do 100% recorded SSCC, as that seems to be the popular thing to do with them ever, ever uh, since I've seen Arkale's Solo Archer Challenge, is kind of what made me want to do this. I have played Tactics for a long time, just never really went for any big challenges before, so I'm giving it a shot now. <laughs> so yeah, this is um, a Samurai Challenge, a few rules for an SSCC. Uh, of course, my party can only be Ramza, I cannot use anybody else besides guests. Guests can be whatever I want them to, but as far as Ramza goes, no abilities outside the Samurai class whatsoever. Uh, no special characters, of course. Um, as far as leveling goes, <clears throat> there is a cap for every chapter. The cap will be level 20 for chapter 1, 35 for chapter 2, 50 for chapter 3, and 70 for chapter 4. But once I get to the final few battles, I can level up to 99 if I choose. <clears throat> so, I did already edit the save file to have Samurai unlocked in the beginning, so I won't have to try to over level to get it right away. And I'm actually going to start this from Sweegee Woods. Um, I did record the video for both Mandalia Plains and uh, Sweegee Woods before, but for some reason the recording came out really messed up, so I'm just going to kind of do Sweegee Woods over again. Okay, to show you my team, John John, of course, well, John John Ramza is already a samurai. The first ability I'm really going to go for is Blade Grass because it's really the only ability that's going to help me out much in Chapter 1. I can't use Draw Out abilities because I'm not going to equip a Katana until it's actually available to me. I don't want to make it too simple. So no Draw Out abilities, making two hands also kind of non-important. Equip Knife I don't need. Walk on Water, there aren't many chapters, uh, aren't, sorry, aren't many missions in Chapter 1 where you really need walk on water, you have to worry about water depth really only later in the game. Meepo and Slash could be helpful in a pinch, but compared to Blade Grasp, it's just not nearly as important. So, that's Ramza, well, Junjun in my case right now. The Lita is a chemist. I'm trying to get the Lita to learn Auto Potion by the end of Sweegee Woods. My last playthrough, whenever the recording didn't work, I did manage to get that. Um, he's also He already has 264 JP for Chemist. That's because in the Garland Magic City battle, I uh, got some spillover JP from the Chemist I already have in my party. So I definitely want Auto Potion, because I have been hearing that it is much, much easier to do this if Delita has Auto Potion. Now outside of that, as long as he has um, Potion... Phoenix down and auto potion. I'm probably just gonna make him a knight and he should be pretty good to go. I guess I'll probably also make a knight right now. He's just a squire. Can he be a knight already? No, not yet. So yeah, after this battle he should be able to. I'm also hoping to get enough spillover JP from Chemist from Delita to get Algus Phoenix down. That shouldn't be too hard as long as they all stay alive the whole whole battle. Um, another thing to point out, I did make um, John John Taurus. From what I was reading, I read over uh, one of the guys, Samurai SSCC, and he got to Velias and basically could not get past Velias. He restarted as a Taurus, it only took him a few tries and he made it. So, Velias was my biggest worry going into this, so I'm definitely going to try Taurus out and see if that works out for me. So, I already saved. Everybody's equipped as well as they can be, so we're going to move on to Sweegee Woods and see if I can beat it again like I did last time, of course, whenever my recording failed. And that's another thing I wanted to point out. If, uh, if I pronounce anything kind of off compared to how everybody else does it, sorry about that. I never really understood how to pronounce a lot of things in this game. So, I'm going to Sweegee Woods. So, so the main, um, my main objectives for this mission is make sure Delita gets enough JP for Auto Potion, Algus gets enough spillover JP for Phoenix Down, and then Algus and Delita can also be knights by the end of this battle. 
So I'm going to play it safe with Ramza and keep him back. I don't want to throw him out there too soon. 18, not too, too bad. Both Algus and Delita can use Potion, so hopefully that will be enough to keep us alive. They might be able to take out that goblin themselves. Hmm. No, I'll I'll jump in there and see if I can give me some some experience and some JP. Goblin's almost down. My team is getting a little bit beat up. Not too bad so far. And Algus, where are you going? I don't want Algus that damn far back. I'm gonna need him up here to help me out. I should be the one running away. I can't do much other than attack, but I don't want to stay in the middle. So I'll probably attack here and, and take off. See if I can get Algus to heal me with a potion. And Delita, that is the worst thing you could have possibly done. Thank God that was enough to take him down. If that bomb would have stayed in critical for his turn, we would have been... And the lead is down. He's going to the Phoenix down, so I am restarting. He's the only one that can revive. I need him alive to do what I wanted to do. So, we are trying that again. Let's give this another shot. Sweetie Woods, take two. Technically take three, but... In your case, take two. I'm going to start with pretty much the same strategy as last time. Oddly enough, the speed is actually a little bit different than it was whenever I did beat this. Deleted, but I think when, I think whenever I beat it, Delita didn't actually use an action that turn and it caused him to get another turn before Ramza went. And so far exactly the same as last time, nothing changing. I think this time I'm actually gonna keep Jun Jun back a little bit. I'm not gonna go for that black goblin attack. And see how much wow, 24. A lot more than last time. I'm gonna see what kind of a difference that makes. I don't wanna have rushing too far. The lead is on land 16. Alka should be able to finish him off with a physical attack. Oh, of course, I'm two hit points short. Let me once again be in some trouble. So we're getting beat up on and not doing quite enough. And there goes the lead us, so here we go again. Wow! Did not have nearly this much trouble before. So let's keep trying until we get the results we want. I don't really think I'm willing to go past this battle without Delita learning Auto Potion and Algus learning Phoenix down. I don't really think it matters where we put John John. Alright, so take three. I can't, believe I'm having, I can't believe I'm having this much trouble this time. Because it was not so bad before. There we go. That's what happened before. He did not use an action that turn. And that damn throw stone just would not hit. So Delita should get a turn before Ramza this time. Since he did not use an action. Here we go. See, this is what happened before, whenever I did beat it, with the desired results. I'm going to keep Ramza back here. Once again, just not enough. Good, I gouge did miss. Definitely don't want Algus to have darkness. He's hitting definitely more damage than anybody else in my party right now. Again, I may just be kind of staying back for now. Two, three, so I'm going to move right here. I just at least want to stay out of the range of the Red Panther. If 
and if nothing else. I would much rather he healed himself than... Same there. Then go for the attack. Jeez, yeah, so if he survives till his next turn, he'll... Which he probably won't. So nothing I do can really save Alex right now. Take out the bomb, but the goblin's gonna finish him. Oh, maybe not, he's gonna go for me. Interesting. Man, god damn it. So I got to deal with darkness. Delete is smart, he'll heal himself this next turn. If he makes it to it, yep, he will. Heal and run, Delita. Heal same here. Just heal and run. Gouge miss. Delita's still getting beat up on a little bit. So I'm hoping he heals himself again. There we go. I want him to be as high of uh, health as he possibly can be. Algus should be pretty good over there by himself. I'm gonna, th I'm gonna try to stick with Delita here. I don't want to try to rush in there and do too much on my own. I'm not too worried about Algus. I think he'll be okay by himself over there. And that's what I was thinking too, Delita. Let's go for the Goblin. Pretty, pretty easy target. Compared to the rest, at least. I should be able to finish him off if I can get a hit with Darkness from the front. Ah, I knew it was going to happen. Oh, well, my hit points are still pretty good. It was worth the try. Delita will heal me up, I'm sure, this turn. Most likely, at least. I wish I would have gotten a hit, though. I can use all the experience and JP I can get. I'm probably going to have to do a few random battles in Chapter 1 to keep up, but... Yeah. Am I going to be able to actually do those random battles successfully? Probably not. Yeah, I'm going to go for the Goblin again. My hit points are alright, so wait, can I get him from there? Yeah. Never mind, I thought I could. I was looking at the tile, not the depth. Alright, so, never mind with that. And there's a wasted crystal. So I completely messed up that last turn. Okay, what's he at? 27. It's probably not going to be quite enough. So I'm gonna go for the goblin again. There we go. 100 chance. That's much better. That's what I like to see. Algus is doing just fine over there in his own. I'm not at all worried about him. And Delita should, I'm assuming, heal me next turn. If not, well, maybe himself first. I'd rather heal himself. Much more important. And I'm not going to attack because I don't want to risk the counter. I don't think Panthers can move in the swamp, so I should be safe there. Oh, that's right. I'm beside that tile. Never mind. I'm expecting to get healed this turn by either one, one or the other. There's just not much I can really do right now. Until I get that potion. I guess he's gonna hit with a dash. I guess he figured that's the best he could really do with darkness. So, okay, I'm pretty safe to move around now and do something. Let's, uh, let's get over this way towards the bomb. If I can get to level 3 before the end of this chapter, that'd be great. I don't know. I'm thinking that bomb may use self-destruct this turn. Nope. Didn't go for it. I thought his hit points would be low enough that he would. And look at that. I'm going to get a back attack for the kill. Almost. Oh, 99, of course. 
just short. So let's see if I can get one hit on that panther. If not, hell, I'll just attack either the leader or Algus to, to uh, get the experience to level up. And I cannot reach him, so screw it. Let's attack the leader just so I can get enough experience to level up. And they both have enough JP, so we're good. We're pretty much set from here on out. The leader will heal himself and we'll finish up the panther. We'll finish up the job. And there's a miss. Algus will probably heal himself, or Delita will heal him next turn. And we may as well go ahead and get over there. I'm actually safe in this spot. He can't hit me from here. Ah, oh, there's a crystal. Well, I'm either wanna, gonna want to make sure I get over there with Delita and Algus, or draw him over to this side. Let's, uh... Let's just go ahead and get this, and let him come to me. I'll wait. Save a little bit of CT. I still have darkness, so a front shot will be kind of, eh, kind of risky. So I'll probably should attack him from the back. Try to get as much experience and JP as possible. I'd like to get Blade Grasp as soon as I possibly could. Uh, could. I'm not too worried about it in Dorter. If I have trouble in Dorter, maybe I'll try to do a few random battles and get it, but. Eh, we'll, we'll give it a shot first and see how it goes. I want to have it before uh, Sandrat Cellar because they're pretty much all physical attackers there. It'll be a much more effective there. So let's look around what we have before we move on. 260, so still short. Still need a good bit more to get that. We'll see how much I can get in Dorder. Um, we know that he has enough for auto potions, so there's that. And we're going to change him to night. Get him, get him as much hit points as we can. And of course we're going to set item and auto potion there. I guess I'll also change to a knight. And I'll give him, or here it has item. I need to teach him phoenix down. That's what I wanted to do. And I don't really think there are any knight abilities they can learn right now, especially ones that are really worth it. So looks like we are good. I'm going to save here and wrap up the first video so thanks to everybody who watched my very first ever sscc samurai challenge um join me next time be uh trying to take down daughter trade city one of the harder missions in the first chapter so wish me luck there so yeah i'll see you guys next time thank you very much this is jun jun and see you later